What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, well, you've come to the right place. I remember when Minecraft was first starting to make its headlines. This was back in, what, 2012, right? It was a pretty basic game at the time, especially when compared to today, but that didn't stop it from turning a few YouTubers into superstars. Captain Sparkle, Stampy Longhead, and yes, Sky does Minecraft. Of course, most of these YouTubers who got popular off of playing the game and making videos on it are shells of their former selves, absolute nobodies, and I think it really highlights one of the more important aspects of YouTube, and that's, to an extent, you need to have your eggs in different baskets. You might get popular off making videos on Fortnite, but once the craze dies down, then what? People came to you for Fortnite, not for you. Now it's not as popular anymore and it's taken you down with it. Probably for the best that you make videos on other games as well. That way it's more likely people are coming back to your channel for you, not just one specific game. And I think that's what happened with a lot of these Minecraft YouTubers, right? They got popular off of Minecraft content, they pretty much exclusively did Minecraft content, and when the game died down in popularity, their channels died with it. Same thing could be said for a lot of these other channels that revolve around one singular game or franchise. Look man, you need to diversify your assets. I think Skada's Minecraft falls into that category of someone who thought they could print money with this Minecraft stuff, but was then hit over the head with a reality check. You look at the guy's channel, it's like walking through a virtual graveyard. 11.2 million subscribers, yet in most of these videos, the latest of which was from 10 months ago, you can't even hit 100k. Like, it's reasonable to expect that as you grow in the YouTube space, a lot of your subscribers stop watching you, and that'll reflect on your view count. But this is just... This is sad. Now, I know that Scott got involved in a bit of drama. Well, it's not even drama because the guy got accused of abusing a former partner. That's not drama, alright? That has real world implications. Now, whether or not said accusations are true or not, I don't know. I haven't looked into the situation that much. I might later, but it's not really worth to do it now. But it's safe to assume that all these accusations and such have taken a toll on his online presence. So, your YouTube channel is past its prime. A few YouTubers in this situation might do different things, you know? Some might keep making videos in the desperate hope they can turn their channel around. Some do, most don't. Some might give up because, well, they're past their prime, may as well. If they were smart, they save their money and put it into good investments and businesses so that they can retire without too much trouble. What does Sky do? He sells the damn channel. There's this website that I've never heard of it before. It's called FameSwap, and as you can probably guess, it's a place where you can buy and sell YouTube channels as well as TikTok and Instagram accounts. I won't lie, it looks to be a pretty sketchy website. I tried to make an account to kind of see what kind of process you need to go through to put up a channel for sale. It wants your address, phone numbers, all that. I'm just like, no thank you. Like this whole deal with trading social media accounts, spotting followers and subscribers, these are all like, this is a business that I wouldn't want to engage with. The people behind them just don't seem that reputable. And, well, that and the fact that I don't need or want botted accounts or established YouTube channels. I want my growth to actually be, you know, real. We have a listing that was made about a month ago, although it's only now being brought to attention. Some of the username appears to be censored, but you can kind of deduce that this is obviously Sky's channel based off the name and the profile picture. Sort off your brand with a diamond play button. This channel has made over 8 million dollars, over 10 million subscribers, 4 billion views, and will be ready for you to start your brand when purchased. Funny how it also doesn't mention that the channel is completely dead and inactive. I mean, if it wasn't, he wouldn't be selling the damn thing. It will be wiped and ready for new content. Streaming is enabled as well as memberships. Start stronger than anyone with this channel. What does he mean, start stronger? I see people with like 50,000 subscribers outperforming this guy consistently. Shoot, I don't want to count my chickens for the hatch, but I could probably match these views too. That's right, give me 10 years top. Start your clocks, ladies and gentlemen, because it's a race to beat Sky. So, how much do you think a channel like Sky's is worth? And like, I really want to know. Pause the video and put in what you think it is. How much do you think Sky is charging for his channel? And how much would you be willing to pay for it? I look forward to reading the responses. I mean, sure, it's a big channel, but it just ain't pulling in the views. And as we all know, sub counts aren't what makes money. It's the views. Views mean engagement. They mean ads, memberships, super chats. You dig it? You're probably thinking a relatively modest amount 50k no 25 10 try 900 thousand dollars that's right for 900 thousand dollars you and you alone could have sky's channel all right all right let's just 
let's just try and look at this logistically. Say you have $900,000 just lying around, and it's just too much damn trouble to start a YouTube channel of your own, so you buy up this guy's. Now, ad rates are all over the place, but let's be generous and say you're getting $1 for every thousand views. And let's just say that every video consistently gets 100,000 views, which again is generous, because most of these videos don't even have 50. But again, we're being generous. Just so we're on the same page, in this hypothetically generous scenario, you're getting $100 a day. Not bad for a side gig. For God's sake, man, I make more than that in a day. So, 900,000 divided by 100 is 9,000 days. That is 24 years and 8 months. It would take you 24 years and 8 months to even recoup your investment according to ad rates. You are better off throwing that money into a business or a 401k or whatever it is those money guys use to make cash in the stock market. Hell, just gamble it. Just go flush it all away at Vegas. What the hell? You have the money anyways. Ugh. And again, we're being generous here. We're not even taking into account that most people would probably just unsubscribe or stop watching because, well, what the hell? You subscribed for Skyra's Minecraft and now some other dingus is running the page. Do the math. No one's gonna buy this crap. Anyone who's smart enough to have $900,000 ain't gonna buy this dead freaking brand. You want a YouTube channel? You may as well just make a new channel because it's not like you're getting that much of a head start anyways. Honestly, I don't get the logic behind buying a YouTube channel. Now, maybe I'm just coping, but I always thought that the fun of YouTube derived from building your channel from the ground up. It's about building something, not just a channel, but watching you and your content improve and grow throughout the years, making connections and friendships with other YouTubers, and forming an audience and community that genuinely enjoys what you do. Can't really get that if you just buy one. I don't know what this Sky person's thinking, man. I mean, I know what he's trying to do. He understands that his channel is dead, and he may as well try to pass it off to a sucker willing to throw the cash at it. Get a quick buck while he's hightailing it off the internet. But almost a million dollars, man? You gotta be off your rocker. You gotta be. They, uh, they ought to send you to the funny farm. Put you in one of them padded rooms. The rubber rooms, they call them. That's all I've got for this shtick, though. You guys do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.